Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Give it a pickaxe. Oh man, this shovel absolutely shreds. <laughs> this is amazing. I feel so powerful here. You don't want to mess with this. You got that, punk? Uh, what a beautiful spring's day. Spring's day? Spring day? Spring day? That sounds like a holiday. <laughs> um, oh man, I just love to look out on my beach in the morning. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a beach now. Isn't that pretty cool? Things have changed around here. I am not a ninja anymore. I am a professional landscaper, gardener extraordinaire. Uh, who knows, I might even build a bridge. Uh, but yeah, I've been doing a lot of work. Um, and it's uh, shaping up to be pretty cool um, but I'm trying to get out of the mindset that uh, every literal thing in this world has to be uh, done uh, on camera so I've just been uh, kind of messing around with the terrain um, in small increments while I get prepared to make the iron farm that I uh, want to build today so that's going to be the plan by the end of this video log and I've decided that the um, most ideal place to start doing that um, is probably not going to be in the big tower because um, while I think it might be possible to make it uh, up there I uh, would really have to worry about limiting spawn locations um, in every possible place that the iron golems would be spawning. Uh, and that might be kind of tricky. It might uh, make it so uh, it's difficult to make the build um, aesthetically the way that I would like it to be. Uh, and that's just not really something that I want to worry about long term. So I've been scoping out the area and I think it would be um, probably most ideal to set up uh, the iron farm on top of this hill over here. Uh, so I've been flattening out the land uh, to do so and I think the idea um, that I want to go for uh, to work it into the uh, the world a little um, bit more realistically uh, is to make it into a sort of iron factory. I want to build uh, the initial design of the farm maybe um, somewhere in the sky right around here and then I'm gonna build a big industrial looking factory on this hillside around it uh, so that it's kind of an iron uh, producing factory uh, and then maybe I can get some villagers around uh, to be the workers um, and start to build out this area a little bit more because uh, up until this point the only thing that I've really made so far is uh, still just kind of the starter house um, I mean, I guess the cow farm is technically something else, but uh, that's absolutely hideous, so we're not even going to count that. <laughs> uh, if anything, that's negative points. Um, so, yeah, um, by the end of today, hopefully uh, I can have uh, something a little bit more impressive to show off. You know, I might even make this... Uh, uh, dual sort of factory. Maybe fit a few farms in here. I'm starting to think towards the future, um, towards the 1.21 patch that's uh, gonna be coming out on the horizon anytime now. Um, in that patch they are 
uh, formally introducing a new uh, redstone block uh, called the crafter. Here's what they don't want you to know. <laughs> uh, the name of the crafter is actually uh, gonna be a pretty big hint at its function, right? A uh, little industry se industry secret here, so don't go around telling anybody, but um, the crafter crafts blocks <laughs> or items or um, anything, anything with a recipe, uh, the crafter uh, can craft it. You just got to give it the items and it uh, it crafts. Um, in a way, it's uh, kind of taking on our role as the Minecraft player, but it's pretty cool and it's going to allow for a lot more uh, revolutionary stuff in the world of redstone. Uh, so I'm excited to see what people start uh, doing with it. Um, and people already have started doing some really cool stuff with it. Uh, anyway, I had this idea after the iron farm's all set up. I'm gonna want to make a wool farm uh, with all the different colors of sheep and stuff. And uh, those are pretty easy to automate fully. The only thing is uh, you gotta use shears and dispensers and over time those wear down and eventually break and you can load hoppers with a ton of them uh, you know stock them up for a lot of time but eventually uh, they will run out and eventually you're always gonna have to restock them at least up until this point that's been the case um, but if I can set up uh, iron uh, iron farm uh, that will have two sort of uh, pipelines one to have a chest that just contains you know iron and another one that uh, segments uh, some of the iron towards a crafter uh, get it to craft a bunch of shears uh, then in theory I could uh, hook it up to the wool farm uh, make that all part of the factory that I'm thinking and uh, then it will be uh, fully automatic right I won't ever have to come in and replace the shears because uh, anytime they, ru they run out I can just have the iron farm uh, craft new ones and, and fill that uh, back up so that's kind of the plan I'm thinking um, I don't know <laughs> that's like long long term though um, for, for today, we're just doing the iron farm portion. I'm going to take a second to come downstairs so that I can show off uh, across from the tree farm. I have a setup going on uh, with a couple bees in here. Uh, it looks like it's time to harvest once again. This isn't automated at all, uh, but I I think I might uh, set something up today because it shouldn't take too long. Uh, I might just pull my design over from the friend SMP uh, from a few years back and uh, see if that still works. And I started collecting honeycomb because it is insane how cool of a floor a uh, tiling block these beehives make. I mean, look at that. That is so nice. That has to be like the definitive flooring block, right? <laughs> they shouldn't even call it a beehive. They should call it a, a floor block because it is just such a nice floor. Especially when you put it next to, uh, um, am I not using it around here? I was gonna say, especially when you put it next to the chiseled bookshelf, so it looks really nice. Um, but I'm using that downstairs, so <laughs> I honestly might even like use more of the beehives down here. I don't know. It, it's going to be one of those things that I really have to like force myself not to use it because I'm probably going to want to use it for literally every build now that I have access to it. And <laughs> that's too much power. I don't know if I can handle that. Speaking of too much power, there is genuinely a few blocks in this game that I'm kind of gatekeeping myself from using 
purely because they look almost too nice. <laughs> and I know that sounds weird, but I'm afraid once I start using them, I, I won't be able to stop. The variety will just go away. So I'm really trying to be careful about that. Uh, one of those is definitely the mangrove planks. I mean, it is such a nice color. I love this. Uh, and the honeycomb blocks look so nice. Um, this is a new one. Packed mud. Look at that. Oh man. <laughs> that is a really cool texture. Uh, I'm like obsessed with it. Um, and then I think you can also make a brick variant out of this, I'm pretty sure. How do you do that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's another one. Look at that. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, and it sounds great when you break it. <laughs> I shouldn't even have crafted that, man. I'm like, <laughs> uh, I've been infected with the plague. I'm going to be using these for everything now. I hit iron, so I'm going to take that as a sign that this is probably about as low as we should go. So I started working on the farm itself. Uh, and the first step is to create a spawn platform for the iron golems. Uh, so, ignoring this checkered border for now, because uh, that's all it is, is just a border. I started by creating an 11 by 4 block area, uh, and then one block lower there's an 11 by 8 block area. And the idea is that the iron golems are going to spawn on top of uh, these gray and white blocks here. Uh, since they're able to spawn in a thin layer of water, I'm going to put a row of water blocks on top of these uh, diorite blocks right here. And it's going to flow over to this area on the left. Uh, so I'm going to have a collection point and kill area over on this side um, but for now this is just going to be the spawn platform so I'll be back with another update when I have uh, some more to show off okay we're back with another update um, this time We've got the immortal zombie in place. Sort of an oxymoron, don't you think? Um, and I also have the three chambers ready for the villagers to come in. Uh, except for their resting quarters. So I'm going to go ahead and make those real quick. quick disclaimer that this isn't my design, by the way. Um, I actually don't know whose design it is originally. Uh, to be honest, I was just flying through the old friend SMP map the other day, and while I was flying over Danny's base, I noticed they had an iron farm that was still working uh, really well, to be honest. So I just took a few screen grabs of that, and I'm doing my best to follow the design. Uh, from that um, so I don't know if it's from a video or anything like that if it is I'm not aware of it but thanks to Danny for making this possible anyway I'm just about ready to fill this thing up with a couple villagers uh, but in order to do that I'm gonna need to find a village so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to seek one out uh, and I probably won't post any more updates until I'm able to do that. Oh, no way. There's another mangrove really close to spawn. Oh, that's actually really cool. 
There's totally gonna be more frogs there. Oh, this looks like a super villagous area. If I was a village, I would build myself here. Somewhere. Turtles! Village! Another update, the villagers are all in place in their chambers, uh, and doing that took absolutely forever. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding, it actually wasn't too bad. I was expecting it to be a lot worse, um, and I did the whole thing while I was at work anyway, so I, I kind of got paid to do it. I shouldn't complain too much. Um, but the whole system is actually fully operational right now. Uh, the game actually sees this structure as a village. Um, and you can tell that it's working because an iron golem has actually already spawned up there. Uh, you can't quite see him because he's over the horizon, but, uh, it is spawning golems. Um, so he's just going to stay up there until I put in the kill chamber um, and he's gonna make it so that no more spawn because he's he is the one he's the protector until he lays down and falls on his sword he will be the protector of the village um, but now all I gotta do is uh, create the kill chamber and the flow system with the water so uh, things are getting pretty close to complete I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll be back with another update uh, here in just a second. Uh, so this is probably going to be the second to last update. Uh, the farm is working super well. Uh, and the last thing I need to do is add a kill chamber. So you can see if I go ahead and kill this guy right here, it won't be too long before another one shows up. Um, and that's all fine and good. Uh, we just need to op automate it now, so I'll wait for another one to pop up, and then I'll cut before my final update. Yeah, see, there comes another one. Um, it only took like 10 seconds. Not very long at all. So, it's working super well. 
Final update. Uh, it doesn't look nice. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, I'm gonna mess around with it off camera and maybe make it look more like a machine. Um, but this was just my sort of temporary attempt to make it look like something kind of industrial. Uh, but it's working really well. I'm trying to see if I can catch an iron golem fall through. Um, but now that I'm recording, it seems like it's going to be shy. <laughs> oh no, there's one. Yeah. Um, so you can see I got the kill chamber all set up. Uh, I can walk in here because I'm short, so I don't have to worry about uh, what he has to worry about. Um, but pretty simple. Love and signs. Uh, down here, I'm doing the mud and hopper method again. Uh, same thing as the cow farm and the wood farm, actually. So, uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Uh, pretty easy. Um, and yeah, this is working super well. I think another one's, yeah, already gonna pop through. Um, they spawn pretty much immediately after the previous one dies. It's super cool. I've been letting this run for a few hours now and I already have like a little over 16 st stacks of iron. It's um pretty insane. I don't know if I'm ever going to have to go caving again to be honest. Um, I should probably stop calling the game Minecraft. It's uh, just craft now. Um, but it's been about 20 minutes again, uh, and that's usually about as long as I like to keep these, so, uh, even though we haven't really started the factory at all, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it an episode. Uh, this was a pretty complicated design compared to some of the other stuff we've made so far, so I feel like focusing on this for the whole episode isn't too egregious, but uh, if it wasn't too fun to watch, oh well. <laughs> uh, maybe you can skip this one. I don't know. Anyway, until next time. <laughs>